Guys, this is Simarjeet Singh back again with the Ask Simarjeet series and we are taking your questions. Keep sending them in, please. We have a WhatsApp number um, wherein you can shoot your videos and send them to us and we would try to include them into the series. If your question is asked in English, I am assuming that you would like the answer in English. And if you asked in Hindi or Urdu, I would answer in those languages, right? Let's get to the next question, which is from Pradipta from Hyderabad. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If I'm not, my apologies. Let's listen to her question first. Hello, everyone. I'm Pradipta from Hyderabad. Hi, Pradipta. I'm a great fan of Simajit Singh. I feel he's a great motivational speaker. He inspires me a lot. In one of his videos, he has mentioned about law of attraction and he said about a great secret mm -hmm. which states that it's not only we getting attracted to what we want, what we want is also getting attracted to us. to us. So being a believer of law of attraction, I would like to know what is the secret behind it. So please let me know and please keep inspiring and keep guiding and keep all the good work and goodwill which you are creating and spreading. Thank you so much. I'm a big fan of yours. Thanks. Thank you, dear. It's thanks largely to people like yourself that our channel through organic growth without any advertisement at all will be touching 1 million subscribers very soon. Yeah. So let's get to uh, Pradipta's question and which is, it wasn't my uh, thoughts on that subject, Pradipta. It was a quotation by Rumi, Jalaluddin Rumi, the Sufi philosopher, the Sufi poet who said, uh, and I'll just share with the viewers first what the quotation was and then I would share my views on what he means by the secret. The quote goes something like this, when I run after what I think I want, when I run after what I think I want, my days are a furnace of stress and anxiety. If I sit in my own place of patience, what I need flows to me and without pain, effortlessly. From this I understand that what I want, also wants me, is looking for me, is attracting me. There is a great secret here for anyone who can grasp it. There is a great secret here for anyone who can grasp it. Pradipta's question is, what does Rumi mean here by the great secret? What great secret he's talking about? In effect, what she's asking me to do is to plug into the brain of the great Sufi master. But I'll do my best in my interpretation, which is this. What I think Rumi means here by the great secret is that there is a conspiracy to help you, that the universe is in your favor, that there are divine forces far beyond that you can see with the naked eye, that divine forces coming to your assistance. So you need not spend your days here on planet Earth as if you're in a furnace of stress and anxiety, as Rumi calls it. You can sit in your own place of patience and what you need will flow to you effortlessly and without pain. Now, my imp interpretation here is he does not mean that sitting here in patience does not mean inaction. It does not mean that you sit with your hands folded and everything will come to you without you taking initiative. What it does mean is that you need not always be at a vibrational level of doubt and fear and an anxiety that you can vibrate at a level of belief, assurance, and faith that what you need to accomplish what you're here to accomplish will be provided to you and you move forward with that faith. So Rumi is not hinting at inaction. Rumi is saying, train your mind to go at a vibrational level where you're not always unsure about things, when you're not always in doubt, when you're not thinking negatively, but you have faith that as you step forward, you will find the ground beneath your feet. What he's saying to you is to work in partnership with the universe and that will help you lead a more peaceful and assured life. What he's asking you to do is to trust in divine guidance that is available to you at all times. You see, Pratipta, what my interpretation here is, 
if a human being lives his life with this point of view that i i the i the i driven by the ego is going to make everything happen then everything is going to be very stressful i will set the world right i will launch a million dollar business i i is so insignificant the i cannot even control how the blood is circulating right now and how the brain is working scientists still haven't understood this is the i so big so powerful we can't even decode how neurons work and how a body works you know one nerve if it's damaged and a person can be bedridden for the rest of their life and we have no ways right now science has no way of treating that that's how the i must surrender if the i learns to surrender not i but us in partnership with the universe in divine guidance we will make these things happen a lot can be accomplished so what i mean what my interpretation is is hinting at a vibrational difference the vibration of a person who's living in stress is always of fear of doubt of an anxiety the vibration of a person who's trusting in divine power is something very very different so what he's asking you to do is to surrender and work in partnership and not always think that you are in charge here he's asking you to great, grasp this great secret uh, that through the law of attraction you are attracting people events circumstances resources in your life so before i close this video I want to give you some uh pointers in terms of how to work with the secret how to implement the secret into your life number 1 get clear on what you would like to happen in your life sit down every day and write down my ideal life in all aspects career wise finances wise uh, relationships um uh, you know what i would like to accomplish in the future all sort of things this is what i would want so then you getting more clarity and then live with the feeling as if all of those things are possible for you i came across this beautiful quotation that i want to share with you in this context which is by this famous author called uh, i don't think he was famous actually he says uh, a little known author published a remarkable book um us anderson and he said everything that you can conceive and accept is yours everything that you can conceive and accept is yours refuse to accept worry hurry or fear refuse to accept worry hurry or fear that which knows everything and does everything is inside you and harkens to the slightest whisper that which knows everything and does everything is inside you and harkens responds to the slightest whisper so when i say after you get clear on what you want start living with the feeling that you deserve a good life that you deserve all of those things and remove any self limiting beliefs that might be there in your mind remove any sort of negative conditioning which might jump in into your mind and say hey you don't deserve that you're not good enough ask that negative conditioning to sit down and recondition your mind into a more positive frame of mind and finally stop the panic stricken frantic running around way of living life which is probably coming from this belief that you are going to make everything happen we are so insignificant in this grand scheme of things just look at just look at the statistics our planet our 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 universe with the seven planets i don't know pluto was taken out so uh, is a tiny speck in the milky way galaxy the milky way galaxy is a tiny tiny speck among hundreds of thousands and millions of other galaxies we don't know where the universe ends scientists have still is there a wall where the universe ends we don't know it's ever expanding we this i who thinks he's he or she is supremely important is completely insignificant in the larger scheme of things to learn to surrender and work with the divine forces and uh, understand um, that there are forces beyond your comprehension which are here to help you i'll finish by once again reciting the beautiful quote by rumi when i run after what i think i want what i think i want sometimes the universe has better plans for you you think i want this i want this i want this and the universe presents something completely brand new will you accept it 
Or will you not? That's the question. When I run after what I think I want, my days are a furnace of stress and anxiety. When I sit in my own place of patience, what I need flows to me and without pain. From this I understand, what I want also wants me, is looking for me and is attracting me. There's a great secret here and the secret is this. Have you ever gone to a party, Pratipta, where you walked in with, you know, certain things occupying your mind and suddenly the first person that you meet out of the 400 people in the party is somebody who can actually give you a solution for that thing? That is the universe working in your favor. I've experienced it in my life and I'm sure you must have too. And that doesn't work by going up to 400 people and asking, do you know how, how I should do this or can you help me with this? But there's some divine connection as you welcome. Learn to trust the flow of life. Thank you. Bye-bye.